Hi, no, just Henry here. So today is one of first. We're gonna be doing, well, I'm gonna be doing an eye look on myself. So I do my videos with my models and those tutorials are really cool. It shows you how to do makeup on other people, but I wanted to give you um, how I do makeup on myself and it's a really close up and I'm super excited. So today we're gonna do one very high glam. That's the stuff I like. So we're gonna do it um, on one eye and I hope you guys like it. To start off this look, use the Professional Brow Palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Choose your favorite thin, angled brow brush to fill in the brows with this deeply saturated product. The shade I chose is medium brown because it complements my hair color. Based on your skin tone, you might choose a color that is lighter or darker. I'd love to know what brow color you use. Please put your favorite color in the comment box below. To make sure your brows stay in place, Hot Makeup Professional has an amazing brow gel called Tint and Set. This product has pigment that packs a punch, so be careful when applying it. And remember to wipe off any excess product from the brush before you work on the brows. After applying Hot's Tint and Set, grab a clean spoolie and brush your brows into place. Now, it's time for you to give your brows some shape. With a cream concealer and a flat brush, begin to shape your brows. Use a color slightly lighter than your skin tone so that the concealer looks like a highlight. The reason you are using a flat brush for application is you need precise and smooth lines. After you're done with that step, you want to blend the color down with the synthetic foundation brush. What's an eye without its primer? Apply your favorite cream primer to the bottom and top lids so that your eyeshadow has something to stick onto. My favorite primer is My Addiction Eye Primer from HOT. With a fluffy brush, apply your base color onto the lid. For my skin tone, I'm using Caramel from Anastasia. This color works for multiple skin tones, so I know you'll love it. For the inner and outer crease contour, you want to use a color a few shades darker than your base color. Try using Deep Plum from Anastasia as I did, and tell me what you think of it. I'll be looking for your comment in the comment box below. Don't forget to blend. Use a tapered eyeshadow brush for perfectly precise blending. A mini beauty blender and My Addiction Eye Primer are what you want to use for the best application of hot candy pressed pigment. This is the hot shade Harmony. The reason you want to use a mini beauty blender? You want to make sure the pressed pigment doesn't float around. It must be pressed onto your lid. Connection Silky Matte Eyeshadow from HOT goes in the inner and outer lid and bottom lash line. This will give your eye a real pop of color. Don't forget to blend all the edges out too. Apply black eyeliner to the waterline and top lash line. Blinking Butte has a beautiful pair of lashes called Samantha that I want you to use for this look. Pair this with Hot's Thick Thalma Mascara that you will apply before the lashes. Now, grab your LA Girl Concealer in a shade lighter than your skin tone and apply it above your brow and below your lash line to add highlight and shape the top of your brow. Apply Hot's Luminous Eyeshadow in the color Gemstone on the brow bone for an amazing sheen of highlight. Makeup Forever just came out with their Ultra HD foundation. You will love it because it has a buildable coverage and dries to a satin or semi-matte finish. You want to apply it with a beauty blender to help control the amount of coverage you apply. So this is the final look. The little glam look. I decided to take the lens a little bit back so you can see without makeup, with makeup. Nice. Uh. <laughs> so if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them below. And again, thank you guys for joining me. I'm No Just Henry. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, I'll have a bunch more of these looks coming up. So bye, guys.